we ran out of time with the last video so let me go ahead and finish that up now um, I said because of this line that we could draw through then we actually have origin symmetry now I, I kind of quickly went through a point but let's do that a little slower this time here we have I've just grabbed a point that's you know fairly close on here and I said this is the point 1 comma negative 4 now according to the origin symmetry rules we have to change the signs of both of those and see if that point is on there so if that's true the point negative 1 positive 4 negative 1 positive 4 would also be on that graph and while it's very close with this being a circle it's it's a little bit different but um, that point we can certainly see that there is um, very close on there so there is origin symmetry now I want to do one more which is going to be a little bit tricky and again let's start out with our x-intercepts and our y-intercepts because we need lots of practice at that even though this is just reading it off so here for our x-intercepts looks like it's crossing the x-axis in these three places so this would be the point negative three zero 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 and also the point three zero now for the y-intercept looks like we're crossing the y-axis in only that one spot which is zero zero you know if you have zero zero as one of your intercepts it's always always going to be um, the other intercept also just because zero zero is both an x-intercept and a y-intercept okay now here's the important part let's talk about symmetry in order for there to be uh, let's try x-axis symmetry first let's just see if we have x-axis symmetry in order for there to be x-axis symmetry we should be able to draw a line and have that perfect balance on either side now with this graph it might be actually a little bit more difficult to see that perfect balance so let's go back to the definition the definition said if we choose any point we want to on here this looks like a very nice point this is the point negative two eight if there is x-axis symmetry then the x-coordinate stays the same but the y-coordinate changes signs so that means the point negative 2 negative 8 should also be on the graph and it's not so that means there is no x-axis symmetry here well what about y-axis symmetry if I can get my pen to work here y-axis symmetry in order for there to be y-axis symmetry the y value stays the same but the x value changes so we're looking for the point two comma eight so two eight now that point is not on the graph either so there is no y-axis symmetry well our last choice would be origin symmetry let's see if there's origin symmetry in origin symmetry we change the sign of both coordinates so we're looking for the point 2 negative 8 2 negative 8 that actually is on the graph so it looks like there is origin symmetry now we could try several other points on here also just to make sure but in this case there is origin symmetry it works for every single point on that graph